Hey everybody, it's me again, coming to you live, well, not live, whenever you're watching this. Uh, but I want to do a real quick uh, recap of uh, some stuff that I picked up this week. Some of the stuff was from the week before. Not going to really open anything today, um, but I'm going to start off with the first open piece that I found. I didn't even know that this existed. This is from the Forza Group from Hot Wheels. It's the uh, AMC Rebel. And, um, oh, sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, it's honestly the only one that I wanted out of that whole group. Um, it's a really cool piece. It's got painted headlights. It's got the fours on the back here on the, on the rear quarter. There we go. Uh, also has Goodyear white letter tires on it. Rubber tires, obviously. Um, just a really, really cool piece. Really, really heavy too. Um, if you had plastic tires on this, it would be great for downhill racing. Um, but let's see. A uh, couple of these things, like I said, I picked up a couple weeks ago. So we'll just go through them real quick. I'm sure you guys have probably seen a lot of these. I love Jeeps and trucks. So I picked up the Charlie's Angels uh, 1980 Jeep CJ5. Um, it's really cool. Really cool Jeep. I like it. Again, I'm into the Jeeps, the trucks, uh, mostly Jeep and Mopar. I'm a Mopar guy, as you couldn't tell from the, the set that I got there, which I am missing the uh, the Power Wagon, of course. Um, this one I picked up the same time I picked up the Charlie's Angels. This is the, uh, the 1983 Old Cutlass Supreme. I like these. I, I grew up, I was a you know teenager in the 80s. And uh, just starting to, to drive in the 80s. And where I come from, the Cutlass was the car to have. So anytime I can pick up a Cutlass, I try to pick it up. Especially like a Hearst Olds, something like that. But that's pretty cool. Um, I just started, I, I don't know if I said in a video before, that I'm really kind of getting into the, the vintage racing look of, of certain cars. Like this one right here. This one, I, I, this one I've had. Um... But it's just kind of like the vintage road road race look with the numbers and the different graphics and some you know some sponsorship uh, tampos and stuff on there too. Which um, but this one I picked up. I don't usually do Jada, but I do like the skyline. Um, it's got kind of the vintage road race look. I like the way the car looks also. Uh, it's got the painted headlight covers, painted tail lights. Just a really really cool car. Uh, rubber tires. The other one that I want to get is the right up top here, the 510. I really like the way that looks, but I haven't been able to find it. Yet. I haven't been, able, I haven't seen any out. So I think usually that's probably the first one to go out of the set. Uh, let's see. Next is a couple pieces I picked up from my local Pet Boys. Uh, again, going with the vintage racing theme. Uh, it's a 1970 Bree Dotson 240Z. Um, just a really cool looking car. I know these have been out for a while, but for some reason in my area, I'm on the East Coast. Uh, it seems like it takes forever for newer cars to get here. I think they hit the West Coast and they just slowly, slowly dribble their way over this way. Um, another one that's been out for a long time, but I haven't seen yet. I picked this, one, this up at Pet Boys. I don't normally do the big HD trucks for green light unless they're green machines, but... I found at one of the Pet Boys near me, they sell these for $6. Uh, they're supposed to be $11, $12.99, something like that. For some reason, they got them priced at $5.99. So if I go in there and see one that I don't have, I snag it. I snag it up real fast. Um, you know, of course, I'm not going to say anything. Let's, uh, let's keep getting the die cast cheaper. So pick that up. Now, um, these last three pieces... Two of these I traded for. The other one I'm, I'm looking for some comments from you guys because I've only ever seen one of these out in the wild. I'm just wondering if they're that rare or if I'm just not finding them. But first I had a couple of uh, a couple of uh, trades that I traded with a guy that I work with. Um, and I'm just noticing now, unfortunately, the running board on this truck fell off. Um, but I did get to, it is a White Lightning. Uh, it's the Dodge Ram, which again, I'm a Dodge guy, but if you see right here, right here where my thumb is, that's the running board that's supposed to be on the truck. Um, not a big deal. It, uh, 
if I open it, I'll put it back on. If I leave it closed, I'll, um, eh, just no big deal. Uh, but it is cool. Um, again, I didn't find this. I traded for this. I traded probably about 20 loose cars uh, for for this particular piece. Um, second to last, I also traded for this. I ended up finding um, the green light hitch and tow. It was the, the Chevy truck with the Impala um, at the Pet Boys that I was at, um, and it was a green machine. So he's a big Chevy guy. I'm a big Dodge guy, so he wanted to know what I would trade for it, and I told him, trade me this. So I ended up picking this up in a trade, 2017 Ram 2500 green machine, really cool piece, got the green base, green wheels, um, I just anything Dodge, I love it, so um, just a really cool piece, happy to have it, and again, that vehicle cost me $6 too, they're not pricing them right at this Pet Boys, great, keep doing that. Alright, last thing I got is, it's a Maisto, I don't normally ever buy these either, it's a tow and go, but I've never seen this one in stores other than this one. And I found this when I went to Ohio about two months ago. I uh, went on a trip out there for a couple days, and I stopped at a local Walmart, and I ended up finding this. Uh, it's a 1987 Chevy 1500 and the car trailer. I don't know if it's really worth anything. Um, again, I'm not a Chevy guy, but I know the, the, the old 80s Silverados are really, really, everybody's looking for them. Um, so I picked it up and um, just don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know if I'm going to eBay it. I don't know if I'm going to trade it. Um, you know, if there's anybody out there interested in trading me something for it, um, you know, let's uh, let's see. You know, contact me in the, in the, below and um, we'll see if we can't do something uh, and make it make us both happy. So, so that's the video for this week, guys. Uh, just had to try to cram it into everything else I'm trying to get done with Thanksgiving coming up next week and the holidays you know, a little less than a month or a little more than a month away. It is just crazy balls to the wall here, as I'm sure it is with everybody else. So, um, you know, if uh, you like the video, like it, subscribe, tell your friends. Let's get some more subscribers. Let's get some more views. And uh, I'll keep doing the videos. All right, guys. Thank you.